Hello, my name is Mike and I have a confession to make. My head is actually a shrub. Hello, it's me, Mike, and welcome back to Starfish. I hope you're all well. I'm afraid you're stuck with just me today, but I have got a craft for you to do. And I've got some songs for you to sing and dance to. And I've got some craft that you guys have been making in previous weeks to show you all as well. But why don't we start off by taking a trip to see another version of me from the past. If you will tell us how to make some craft sharks and fish. Hello, today we're going to be making some fish, some floppy fish. Because um, fish flop when they, they swim, they go floppy, floppy, floppy. And we're going to make some fish that flop. Um, and in order to make this craft, you are going to need some glue. If you haven't got glue, you could use sellotape, but brick stick is fine. Um, you are going to need some skizzers. And uh, you're going to need a pen to draw the eyes. You could use googly eyes. Uh, you could also use different colour pens or anything really to decorate the fish um, before you start if you would like to. And uh, you're also going to need two different coloured pieces of card or paper. Paper I think does work a bit better for this, um, but I haven't got any coloured paper so I'm doing mine with card and it does work fine as well. Um, so we're going to start with taking one piece of coloured card and the other one we're going to set aside for later on. And with this piece of card you are going to fold diagonally so that you make a square until this corner reaches this edge and you should get a nice straight edge there so you should have like that folds across like that so you get like a nice straight edge on that side and everything's flush and then you're going to cut across there where that line is so that can go to one side uh, and you're left with a big square like this the next thing you're going to do is you're going to unfold it so you've got your square. You're going to turn it so that your uh, fold line is going straight up away from you rather than at an angle like that. And then you're going to use these corners and you're going to fold these corners into the middle to make a, uh, the shape of a kite. All of this edge here is going to then sit flush with that line there. Uh, so you should have uh, a thing that looks like a kite. What you're then going to do is you're going to unfold it again. You're going to fold with the original fold so it's back in half like a big triangle. And you're then going to cut from here you've got your, here let me draw on mine. Here you've got the fold lines you've just made by turning it into a kite that you can see there. And what you're going to do is from this fold here in the middle, you're going to cut all the way up to that line but no further than that line and you're going to cut lots of lines uh, and you probably want to start about nearly halfway along uh, you don't want to do it the whole way along you probably want to start about there so you should have now when you unfold it a weird like uh, I don't know how to describe that lots of weird little lines in there so here's your fish you're going to get some glue and you're going to want to smother all of this bit with glue. Once you're there, you're going to take this bit you've just glued and you're going to fold it in there and you're going to fold this one up and press it down. Like that. So now you've got your floppy movement in ready for the fish and this is going to be its tail, this is going to be its head and this is going to be its mouth. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to give him a bottom jaw. To do that you're going to take the rectangle that you cut off that's the same colour and you're just going to cut a triangle from the bottom, kind of like that. Left with a triangle. Now if I hadn't cut this out of red, I could use a smaller piece of red card to make a tongue. Uh, if you have made yours in red, you could use pink paper maybe to... Oh, I've got some pink paper. Remember this guy? Uh, don't pay attention to anything I'm doing right now. Voila, some pink paper! <laughs> uh, stick some glue on your pink paper. Stick that on 
to your that you've got that, so it's got a little tongue as well. And then you're just gonna on the edge, so I've left a gap across there. On the edge where I haven't left the gap, on the other side, I'm just gonna put some glue across there. And once you've got your strip of glue on the back, you're gonna put the triangle in the mouth like this, and you're gonna wanna push it down as best as you can, and then he's got a bottom jaw as well. I'm gonna give him some little eyes and uh, put other scales and things like that and now we are going to do the fins and that's what your other bit of uh, paper is for and then cut out a flipper shape and then you'll have two identical flippers you can cut along the fold that you've made there with two flippers and um, you can look up online different types of fish you'll see that there's all kinds of wonderful and wacky types of fish on there with different flippers and fins and tails and all kinds of different decorations so you can get really creative with what you do with yours. Now I've just taken a little bit of glue along the edge there and I'm going to use that and I'm just going to stick it to the bottom there. Uh, but now he's got some flippers as you can see. Then you're going to want to take your yellow card again and cut out another bit and you're going to want to make a tail. I want my tail to be symmetrical but it doesn't have to be. I'm going to go for like a bit of a moustache shape. No, that way. And this one, you're just going to glue down the middle where you've made the fold, and you're then going to pick up your fish by its tail end and hold it down like that. And that's it! There's your fish craft, and you can move and swim, which is really nice. And you could add all kinds of things to this. You could add like sequins or glitter to make him look like he's sparkly, because fish are sparkly with their scales. You could add fins. Uh, you could add teeth, you could add all kinds of things. You could try and make lobsters, dolphins, whales, killer whales, that would be a fun one. I made my favourite animal, which is a shark. And I gave him some teeth, and I gave him a fin on his back, which you can see. Over to you, see how you guys do, see what kind of things you can make. And as I said, get really creative and let us see what you made. I'd love to see all the different kinds of fish that you guys come up with. Thanks. Only one of you sent in a picture this week of the craft you made last week. So if you are making one this week, do make sure to send it to us so we can show it on our next week's video. And this is Addie's basket and uh, you can see that she's got the fish in there and she's got her loaves of bread in there as well. And Addie made this with her daddy, which is a lovely rhyme. I might be wrong, but I don't think Emma put on um, any handles for the basket last week. So I like that Addie has thought of the idea to put some pipe cleaner handles on her basket so she can carry it around more easily. That's a good idea. And in the story, there was enough left over after Jesus fed the 5,000 for them to carry the fish and the loaves back home. So it'd be quite useful for them to have some handles. Thank you to Addy again for sending in a picture of your craft. Do please keep sending in your pictures so we can carry on showing them. But now I think it's time for a sing song. Well, guess who's back? Back again. I always struggle to think of which songs to sing for you guys. So if you guys have got any favourites that I haven't done yet, or that I might have forgotten, then let me know and I will try and sing them next week. And I don't know if you know this one, uh, but this is about a farmer who had a dog. And the dog had a name, and the name was Bingo. And in it we're going to spell Bingo. Um, which is spelt B-I-N-G-O. And each verse we're gonna sing, we're gonna lose one of the letters and instead you can do a clap, which I'm not gonna be able to do because I'm playing the guitar with both my hands and so I can't clap. So I'll try and do like a, a nod. And by the end, we'll have just replaced his whole name with just claps, nothing but claps. So let's sing about the farmer and his dog whose name was Bingo. There was a farmer had a dog the B in bingo with a clap. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. I-N-G-O 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 and bingo was his name. We're now going to lose the B and the I so we're just going to have N-G-O. Go, go the dog. There was a farmer had a dog. 
only with G and O. song is because according to Google it's either Itsy Bitsy Spider, Incy Wincy Spider or Incy Weensy Spider and I don't know which is the right version anymore because I can't remember. I don't know what's real anymore. Um, so I'm going to go with Incy Weensy Spider because it's the one that makes me laugh the most. I like it when a spider is all Incy and Weensy. Now there are actions to this song um, that they go like this or something. When the rain comes out, it washes the spider out. Then up comes the sun. I think that's the action for up comes the sun. The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. And down came the rain and washed the spider out. I'm gonna sing that a second time and maybe this time I'll be in tune. The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout And down came the rain and washed the spider out And out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again Oh yes, the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again You are the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again well, it's that time. It's time for us all to get nice and cosy, like little curled up bunnies. And we're gonna sing Sleeping Bunnies. So if you'd like to go to sleep, and then get ready to hop when it's time to wake up. See the little bunnies sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with the merry tune? Oh, so still. Are they ill? Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop little bunnies, hop, 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 hop. Back to sleep, little bunnies. See the little bunnies sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with the moon? bunnies
starfish. I hope you enjoyed yourself watching the video. I hope it's been lots of fun for you. Do let us see your crafts that you make. Do let us know any nursery rhymes or songs that I haven't sung yet or ones that you'd like me to sing again. And uh, I hope you all have a good rest of this week and weekend. And do keep an eye out for our Illuminate videos and our Cooking With Mike videos and also our Sunday services. We'd love to have you join us for any of those. And I will see you next week on Starfish. Bye! The Yeetsy Beetsy. <laughs> Yeetsy Beetsy. <laughs>